When heroes and vigilantes began to reveal themselves to the world, people didn't know what to do or make of it. At first, the government was wary and paranoid, especially with those that exhibited superpowers, extraordinary abilities, and their fear increased when an entity like the Plutonian surfaced. Seeing this and understanding the government's curiosity, the Plutonian decided to form the group Paradigm, in which consists of superhumans like himself and vigilantes, in a way to build trust between them and the people, including the government. But that was four years ago. From now, for things have changed for the worse since the Plutonian went rampage, whom our hero Charybdis can't stop talking about, especially their fight. As much as his colleagues were happy to see him alive, some of them were not too comfortable with him being in charge. For Charybdis told his colleagues in the paradigm that looking for Modius was of no use and since he is the new self-appointed leader of the group, he suggested that keeping Encanta alive was a waste of time and he decided to end her life with his energy blast and as Gilgamesh tried to stop him, which was impossible for he hurt himself, doing this, Charybdis missed Encanta by a few inches and before he could blast her again, Cubit pressed his quantum jumper and took Encanta with him, making Charybdis very angry. Unknown to the group, some few elements in the government were spying on them. In fact, they watched and observed the fights between Charybdis and the Plutonian, in which gave them an edge that the Plutonian can be challenged, but lost all hope that the Paradigm can defeat him. And to be frank and to be honest, out of their paranoia, they don't know where the Paradigm stands. Now, these few elements in the government believe that they have won up their sleeve by summoning a being by sacrificing one of their own for the cause of good, which was a project called Ultimum. This being or entity is meant to have come from another dimension, whom is supposed to be equally matched for the Plutonian, but at a price. Cubit in his secret lab with Encanta asked her the whereabouts of Modius, for he believes she knows more about the disappearance of Modius, but she was being elusive and divisive. So Cubit decided to attach her to the wall with cybernetic cables in which he made them penetrate her skin to transform her into some mechanical being. And the more she is in resistance, the more the pain for Cubit was desperate and his morals were out of the question, for he still wants to save the Plutonian from himself. In so much pain and discomfort for Encanta, she confessed what happened to Modius the last time she saw him, which was years ago. They met in a place called Other Space. He told her that he had been experimenting with sorcery and that he found a doorway but he needs her spell to open it in which she obliged. And when she found the right incantation, which was an extreme one, Modius' body disintegrated into a stream of electronic bits which transformed him into a packet of information and then he vanished into a hole in space. And that was the last she saw of him. The Plutonian woke up to a resurrecting samsara whom kind of remember that the Plutonian hurt him while a delighted Plutonian, glad to see his best friend come alive and to his right senses, begged him for forgiveness and promised that he will never hurt him again. In truth, this is not samsara, but Modius whom now have the capability to possess the body of samsara as his own. Forcefully, without asking how his colleagues feel, Charybdis, aka Survivor, took them to a press conference and to his surprise, no one has ever heard of him. But that did not deter or discourage him. He went further in introducing himself as Survivor. Then he went on a long irrelevant speech on how he put the Plutonian in his place and gave him a bit down. How he is the new inspiration to the world, a new hope, the flavor of the month, and most importantly, their new champion. And as his colleagues were kind of embarrassed for him, the people and the press just stood there looking at him in fear. And this made him mad and pissed off because no one was clapping or cheering for him.